Hi everyone, hope you're all keeping safe and well. I want to take a wee bit of time this morning to talk about um, eating healthily. Uh, eating healthily is important for us all, particularly now, um, because it gives us the building blocks to really fight any viruses, flus and colds. It doesn't stop us from getting it, but it will help us to fight it. So this morning I want to talk a wee bit about the Eat Well Guide, which some of you will know, um, haven't done the cookbook before. It is a government recommendation um, for us all to try and eat a healthy and balanced diet. So we're going to have a wee look at that now. Um, I have sort of prepared my own Eat Well Guide, so it's just a wee bit bigger for, so that you can see it better. So we're going to focus on the different areas now. Okay. So firstly the green section, this is our fruit and veg and this includes frozen, so we've got some frozen peas here, it includes fresh veg and fruit, it includes tins, so we've got a tin of sweet corn, a tin of pineapple, it also includes our fruit juice and I've also got a tin, or, sorry, a tomato for salad as well, so tin tomatoes, that includes that. Now the recommendation here is that you try to eat at least five portions a day and try to eat a variety of different types of fruit and veg so that you get a variety of vitamins and minerals. Okay, so the next section that we're going to look at is our potatoes, bread, rice, pasta and other starchy carbohydrates. Okay, so that includes rice, bread, porridge, and other cereal. Got some wheat bits here as well. Noodles, which is Lila's favourite. Potatoes. Okay, so a lot of people think potatoes are a veg, but they're not. They are included in this section of the well guide and really what the recommendations here are that you base your meals around um, starchy carbohydrates choose whole grain if you can uh, carbohydrates will fill you up for longer and give you energy and it stops you snacking on things that you we, we shouldn't be okay so the next section that we're going to look at is beans pulses fish eggs meat and other proteins and that's the red section here and that can include um, our tin of baked beans, tin of tuna, can include also an egg, chicken, my favourite bacon, and also includes nuts. Okay. So the recommendation here is that you eat something from this group every day. Um, if you can eat at least two portions of fish each week, one of which is oily, because that's high in omega-3 oils. Limit the amount of processed foods such as sausages, bacon and cured meats. Um, and if you can, choose the lean cuts of meat so that's your 5% fat in your mints and trim off the excess fat. Now I know it's hard, bacon would be one of my favourite things to eat, um, so it's hard to limit that sometimes, but the recommendations are that we do, okay? So the next section that we're gonna look at is the blue one, which is our dairy and alternatives. So that includes our, your milk, cheese, yogurts, and also soya drinks and soya um, alternatives as well. So what we're really saying there is that um, this is a great source of calcium, so it's important that you include those in your diet as well. And that can be included in your milky drinks like um, hot chocolate and, and coffee and things as well. So it is important to get that, particularly for the calcium in our bodies, okay? So the very last section that we're going to look at is a very small um, section, you'll see it there. It's a, it's a purple section, it's quite, kind of quite small. And that is our oils and spreads. So that includes your vegetable oil, rapeseed oil, olive oil. It also includes our unsaturated fats, that's our florals. So butter is not included in this because it is high in fat. So again, 
the recommendation is here that you use these sparingly and that's why it's a small section on the eat well diet because they are high in calories okay so the other thing that it is important to do is try to eat, to drink six to eight glasses of water a day and that can also be coffee tea and fruit juice okay so do you think we're missing something in this guide oh yes Things that we thought. Crisps, sweets, cake, tomato, ketchup, mayonnaise. Now these things are outside of the Eat Well Guide. They are not included in it because they are the things that we should be eating less of. Now I know that is hard to do but we should really be basing our diet around the things that are on the Eat Well Guide. These things are the, for the treats at times whenever we, we want to get them, so we should be limiting the amount of those. Okay, so hopefully this makes sense. Um, I'm going to now uh, cook a very simple meal that is uh, actually based on some of the things on the Eat Well Guide. So what I'm going to need is potatoes, sweet corn, Tuna and cheese. Okay. Hi everyone, um, I'm ready to start the second part of the video and uh, we are going to cook a very simple meal of baked potato which is all the stuff that came from the Eat Well Guide. Um, the recipe that I'm using is on the 101 square meals and um, that is something that we used on our cooking program so that is easy, easy to find online and you can also download that um, and as you can see there's lots of different things there's breakfast, soups, um, fish, there's lots of different recipes on that so we'll give you the website for that at the end but it's safefood.eu so we can do that at the end okay so to start off with I have um, done two of the potatoes in the microwave and if you don't have a microwave you can do them in the oven until they're soft so what I've done already is I've cut them in half I have scooped out a few so I'm going to scoop this one out so just take it in your hand let it cool first and then you're just going to scoop it out in the bowl and do that all so when you've done that you are going to add a tin of tuna now i've used the tuna in the spring water you can use it in brine as well oil um, will just have a little bit more calories on it so you're going to add that that's just drained to your potato mix and then i have about half a tin of uh, sweet corn which I've also drained so you're just going to add that to it as well and I've also done about four rashers of back bacon I've just trimmed off the fat uh, which I know a lot of you will say is probably the best part but uh, for the recipe today we're trimming that off and I have done it in a wee bit of oil just cropped it up so that it's crispy and that goes into the mixture as well And the last thing that you're going to add is um, two scallions or spring onions. I have just washed them and finely chopped them as well, so they are good too. Now, if there's some of the things that you don't like in this here, you can leave them out. If you're not a fan of sweet corn, you could add peas instead. Um, if you want to make it vegetarian, then you could just keep um, take out the, the, the fish and the bacon. Um, and just add in baked beans as well, so any of those things would work. So what you're going to do is you're just really mixing that round until you get it well mixed together. Get your potato combined. And if you want to season it, you can. Just put it in salt and pepper. I'm just going to leave it the way it is because I'm adding cheese to the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is going to take your shells just going to fill them 
with your mixture. Take your time if you have nothing sort of just a little bit of crap it, but take your time. See, there's plenty of mixture here anyway, so you can fill the potatoes up as you go on and make that do for now. Okay, just going to take the tray. I'm going to put the potatoes on it. And I'm just going to top them with about 30 grams of cheese. Now again you can use the lower fat version of cheese if you want to, I don't really like it so I uh, like the, the, the full fat cheese that I like the taste of it but creating cheese actually means that you're using less so, okay. so it's about between 50 to 80 grams depending on which cheese you like okay again cheese is a good source of calcium so, so that goes into the oven and bakes until it's heated through and the cheese has melted. Okay, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy it.